Do Jose Mourinho and Spurs have any sort of case here? No, I, I don't think so. I think it, it was a clear red card. I think Jose Mourinho should have spent more time you know, explaining to us and maybe Shaka will take the time to, uh, to know what his goalkeeper just did on the second goal, uh, who in <laughs> fact ended up the, the suspense. <laughs> Uh, uh, but uh, we see the movement of uh, Son, and as Frank Lampard explained to us, um, he, he lost his mind and just tried to, to kick Rudiger. We see the movement going towards his, uh, his chest. It doesn't matter if, he, if uh, uh, Rudiger uh, is injured, has a broken ribs or not, or even if he's exaggerated, because we all know that honesty doesn't pay in football. Uh, if he would have stayed up, Maybe the ref would have said nothing, where it's a clear offense, it's a clear violence, whatever happened uh, to, to Rudiger. So I think it's not the main problem. The main problem is to, for Mourinho to explain to me why he lost against Chelsea at home. Mm. And he has maybe no explanation, so he's tried to find details. Ali, you haven't been able to weigh in on this yet. Red, well, red card? 100% really? a red card. And... What do you mean, you really? Are you surprised <laughs> well, that it's a red I card? I thought it might be 90s. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no. 100% a red card. And it is the resurgence. He, he hadn't been around for a while. But it's the resurgence of Captain Deflecto, Jose Mourinho. <laughs> well, we have seen him do this with every team that he's been a part of, in which he takes attention from the performance or lack thereof and then focuses all the attention in an event, in a single event, in a game that doesn't go a long way in determining what their score of the game was. Mm. See, red card or not, Chelsea were better than Spurs. Now, the red card is a, is a big offense, and it's a big moment in the game, and it does change the game. However, there is no argument whether this is a red card or not. What does Jose Mourinho? He wants, actually, the human song impales Rudiger in order for it to be an offense? No. The offense is there. The intent is there. There is nothing to see here other than the fact that it's a red card. And the only thing that I would say about the incident is, why did it take so long? Why, why mm -hmm. did it take so long to make this decision? It should have been called by the referee on the field. It was not, and then VAR took forever. And in that case, it's one of those in which you go back to the same argument that we've been making all season long. Just let the referee go see it in the monitor. It'll be, it'll be a whole lot quicker. Regardless, this was a red card. I know, I know Shaka, yesterday you said it was clear. 101%, I think you huh? said yesterday yep. for the red card. Jules, I want to bring you in. Uh, Actually, let's shift the conversation on. Ali already brought it up, but Jose Mourinho, he's been happy Mourinho so far, hasn't he, for the first few weeks. Is this the start of a reversion to the mean, a reversion to the norm, a little cheeky, a little, uh, a little old Mourinho, if you like? I think so, and we saw it a little bit after the, um, the game at United when he went back, obviously, to Old Trafford and got beaten, and there was a bit of sarcasm from him after, after the game, a bit of bad loser. <laughs> Uh, in, his, in some of the behaviour he had and what he was saying as well. And, and you could feel it was not far until something like yesterday, a Sunday afternoon, would happen where his team would be outplayed, that he would be outsmarted by the other team's manager. And in that case, it probably hurt even more for Jose Mourinho that he's against Chelsea by Frank Lampard, who, as we know, they didn't really end up well, their relationship in that first spell at Chelsea. And again, that, that start, and you know how much he loves start, Jose Mourinho, for the first time ever losing at home against one of his former clubs. That must have hurt. And then when he's hurt, he always goes down, like Ali said, in the captain deflector's way. <laughs> and like, it's never his fault. It's not the problem. The problem is on the referee. There shouldn't have been a red card and this and that. And he's the master of that. The problem is that everybody is there to see that he was the one outsmarted uh, by Lampard and his team well beaten by Chelsea as well. And they can, ap they can appeal as much as they want for that red card. It's gonna, never going to be rescinded in a million years. Shaka, it was classic Mourinho, wasn't it? You know him well. Yeah. He, he couldn't even credit Frank Lampard, could he? He credited Antonio Conte. Oh. Uh, I mean, was the manager for... That, that I years. thought, was, was petty beyond belief. And, and listen, I, I understand Mourinho and Captain Deflector, as, as Ali puts it, and how that maybe may at times benefit his teams. In he's defending his players, he's defending his teams, and taking some of the negative limelight away from them, so to speak. But I think, given what we saw both in Manchester United and then again um, uh, against Chelsea, I, I think it's, it's taken away from the effect, the effectiveness yeah. of it, simply because everybody's, if you hadn't realized before, he's just going to say anything in an effort to, to not just deflect from, from his team's poor performance, but to take credit away 
from, from the opponent. Now, without question, Frank Lampard outcoached Jose Mourinho on the day. I'm not going on record to say that Frank Lampard is already a better coach than Jose Mourinho or anything of the sort. But on the day, he quite clearly got the better of Jose Mourinho. To, to somehow make this about Antonio Conte, <laughs> I think is, is disingenuous in a level that I thought or, or I believe should be beyond, beyond Jose Mourinho. Mm. Disingenuous to the point to where he has been critical in the past of Antonio Conte in the way that Chelsea <laughs> was playing when Antonio Conte was the manager there. But, yeah. but there you to go. that point, I thought Frank Lampard's response was good. Does yeah. that mean that everybody who plays 4-3-3 is well, copying? Mm -hmm. and, yeah. Frank, and Frank, that was Mar uh, Mourinho's point, wasn't it? He was, or, or Frank Lampard's defence. You know, these players are used to playing that system uh, since Antonio Conte. Yeah, yeah, well, that, that, that's, that's completely unfair because we saw so much changes since uh, Frank Lampard uh, turned up and, uh, and, and took charge of the club uh, with new and young players uh, like Abraham, Mount uh, and uh, Pulisic, uh, uh, for example. And uh, we saw the offensive side of Chelsea coming back since uh, uh, Conte left. So you cannot compare uh, the two coaches. Uh, they are so different. Um, in their attitude, the way they see football, their tactics. So I don't see the point. I don't see the point. I mean, Moreno played when, when we called it the boring Chelsea and Conte uh, was nicknamed the same. But you cannot say the same from Frank Lampard. I think it's very accurate. It's very uh, attractive uh, and, and entertaining. So it's no, not a comparison to make. Just, just quickly here, the defence that Anthony Taylor saw this and didn't give Son a red card in, in the first instance is, is bottomless, in, in, in my opinion. Let's remember, this is the same Anthony Taylor who thought that Marcus Alonso assaulted Gazzaniga <laughs> until VAR yeah. stepped in. Yes. So to say that, the old, well, this is what the referee called first time, again, is not... That's not any kind of a defence. Mm. Yeah. So is, is that it now? Are we, uh, are we on to the next chapter of Mourinho? Is, is Happy Mourinho behind us? Is, is it now... <laughs> Is it now? Well, the question Sarcastic. becomes, have, have we really, have we yeah. really turned the page? Yes. <laughs> he's the only one that seemingly turned the page, but he's right back to where he started because that's who he is. Let's, let's not kid ourselves. Well, it was nice while it lasted, wasn't it? Well, it was sort of <laughs> like nice for whom? Weeks. <laughs> no, I, this, is, this is who he is, and he's going to... Whenever things go well, it's great. Right. It's fantastic. Everybody's happy. He's jolly with the press. In fact, now things start turning the other way, then you're going to see the same reactions. It's what he has done over the course of his career. We should not be surprised. That's the direction we're going again. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.